I am Narita. I'm a freelance journalist from Thailand. And you were here as part of a global summit talking about climate change. What is being part of a global effort and hearing from voices around the world uh, do to help you as a journalist from Thailand? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting actually. Um, so, um, you know, like usually I, I work for on the ground. Like, I met this, a lot of farmers who lost their crops and push into internet nets. Uh, I met some fishermen who um, lost their cash because of changing climate pattern. So to me, yeah, it is kind of giving me hope, you know, like because I always see people feeling hopeless on the ground. What do you think is something you learned that you can take back to your audience and, and write a story that will give them an idea of what these high-level discussions mean for them? Yeah, yeah, right. Um, so actually to see like a lot of local leaders and local administration having some kind of cooperation and trying to combat the climate change um, would be a really good news for the local people on the ground, right? And what impressed me the most is actually the cooperation between China and the US. You know, like you have seen a lot of international news talking about the conflict between China and the US, about the trade war that President Trump announced, or even about um, the way the Xi Jinping, you know, filing back to the US. But here, like here in San Francisco, I could see some local leaders from both countries, you know, really come together and talk about cutting carbon emission in their home countries or even in their own city. So, um, yeah, that's really impressive. I mean, it's kind of open up my perspective.